All right, we are going to subtract 2 and 3 sixths minus 1 and 2 sixths. And I have three different strategies. So strategy 1 says you can subtract the whole numbers, so 2 minus 1. Then subtract the fraction, so 3 6 minus 2 6. But this only works if the first fraction is bigger than the second. So is 3 bigger than 2? Yes, it is. So you can actually do it this way. 2 minus 1 is the answer here. And then 3 minus 2 is the answer here. The denominator is going to stay the same. That strategy doesn't always work, so it's really good to know the other strategies. Another strategy is to turn them both into improper fractions and then subtract and change them back. Let's do that. So 2 and 3 sixths, we're going to turn that into an improper fraction with a 6 on the bottom. Look at this purple down here. We actually have 2 and 3 sixths highlighted. And so when I say improper fraction with a 6 on the bottom, I'm just saying, how many sixths do we have down there? How many pieces? Well, you could count them all, but we know that each whole is six of them. So if you do two times six, or six plus six, and then add three, you'll get your total. So that's why this strategy here works. Two times six, because each whole is six pieces, plus three. Two times six is 12, plus three is 15. So our first fraction is 15 sixths minus, okay, let's take our second fraction and turn that into an improper fraction. The denominator will still be six, so I'm just saying, you know, if you took that and you drew one whole, which will have six pieces, and then you drew two more pieces, how many pieces would you have? Well, one times six is six, plus two is eight. So now you do 15 sixths minus eight sixths, and you're going to get... 7 sixths. Now 7 sixths is more than one whole. Let me go ahead and show you actually by doing our subtraction with the models. So when you take away 8 sixths or you take away 1 and 2 sixths, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take away 1 and 2 sixths. When you take that away, you do indeed get 7 sixths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, But that's an improper fraction because 7 is greater than 6. So you need to write it as 1 and something else. So with 7, 6, how many groups of 6 can you make? 1. And then how many 6 do you also have left over? 1. So we have 7, 6, or 1 and 1, 6.